Hello, I'm Jonathan McBurney. I'm the creative director here at Post Tucker Regional Gallery and Pinnacles Gallery. Um, you might notice this year that we're holding the Percival's just in Post Tucker Regional Gallery. Um, unfortunately, after the monsoon event, we're still undergoing repairs over at Pinnacles. This year was actually our biggest year yet for entries. We received over 300 entries, which we're very, very happy with. And we managed to cram in 239 of the shortlisted works up on the wall. This, this year I've noticed a lot of uh, interconnecting themes, um, particularly there's a lot of works uh, by women this year. I think um, something like two thirds to three quarters of the works are works by women, which is very interesting. Also a lot of portraits of women by women. So I think there are some very, very interesting perspectives coming through. I think good portraits set up in interesting ways a sort of complicated dynamic between viewers, subjects and artists. So all good portraits have in them relationships between those three elements. And I think for this work we have a very complicated relationship actually with the sitter that's been set up. So on the one hand it's a very vulnerable portrait. The sitter's very open and sitting in a languid pose so there's, there's that. But then we're met with a face that has a quite a steely, quite cut off expression and a hat of an elf. So we, we're not quite sure if the portrait is sincere or at least if the subject is sincere, if he's friendly or if he's sarcastic or what's happening. So my relationship as a viewer with this subject is strange and unsettled. But the other side of that is that I felt that the artist was being absolutely sincere. So there's great affection in the way that the paint is laid out, a great affection between the artist and the sitter really resonated with me. I think the work is technically incredibly masterful. It's an incredible sort of maturity and intelligence of choices in terms of the paint application, the nuance of the colours, a great variation in, in gestural marks too, very fine work with more expressive marks. It's basically a painting without fault that we couldn't find a, a part in the painting that didn't work. That's another very, very sophisticated painting and particularly in terms of technique. There's a lot of high, high realist work in the exhibition which is very impressive intellectually, but that work straddles a really nice in-between spot between a sort of romantic, uh, human feeling way of painting and, and high realism as well. It similarly is a very sophisticated work, strangely it has a palette quite similar to the winner actually, but the it was a great comment, I thought, on the gap between our interior selves and our relationships with others. So these women are on a bed, preoccupied with themselves, not really interested in us. And then they're also held inside a room, which is separate from us, and then held inside again by the yellow frame. It's a, just a very intelligent, again, painting with a great sensitivity of brushwork. I was just really intrigued uh, that I feel photograph sometimes only shows the photographer and sometimes photographers have ideas, concepts and they put them on their sitters and they don't let their sitters to be sitters, they don't show a part of themselves and I felt in this case, even though it's a very formal, a very kind of symmetrical uh, composition, the gaze really straight at the camera. I find that really, really intriguing and I, I really went back all the time. Also, uh, it feels almost not real. It feels almost like a stage. And the fact that uh, Janet used techniques to keep everything in focus. So you do have a foreground that's very much in focus. You do have a background that's very much in focus. It gives you actually I would say almost four different planes and it also allows you uh, your eye to wander from one plane to the next and but it always leads you back to their gaze and because it is almost almost flat because of the the sharpness of the image uh, it, it it's almost really this Augenblick or this blink of an eye or Augenblick as in German blink of an eye it's, and 
it's really just this moment in time that really works for me so well. So Glenn O'Malley's work was really one of the works that stood out for me and that really spoke to me. His use of black and white was, in, and the size of the image was, was to me just perfect. It's one of those works uh, that are not overly staged or they're not overly, you know, studio photography or it feels like it just happened. And it was really, I think, he caught some truth in all these people at this moment. I find the composition really interesting. You see actually a very almost pale, vulnerable face uh, staring on more inside because she's looking outside the frame and she has got this calmness, almost kind of, a, it looks almost like a meditation in the center of the actual image in front of this dark black background is this quite beautiful chicken. You can see there's a connection between, I think it's a farm assistant and, and the chook that she's handling. So it's just this interconnection between those two that really, I think, comes through. And I think that was very much what attracted me, beside of that it is a very technically nicely resolved image. Alyssa's work is, was just incredible. It really just jumped out at me. The attention to detail, the subject matter, being a dragonfly and it's you know, such a delicate little creature and uh, how she's portrayed that is just beautiful. I really hope that everyone gets online and supports the awards because it's just it's just incredible. There's some amazing works, not just the animal works, but the um, photography and the uh, portraits as well. It's been a really nice change for the Percivals this year, having both the painting and the photography exhibited side by side. I think it's given a, a very different perspective and a different view of what both painting and photography are and their relationship.